Howdy everyone, Pocho here with an Age of Magic video and today I get to speak to the community managers of Age of Magic. So everyone's going to take a turn introducing themselves. We'll start with the one everyone knows the most, Anatoly. Introduce Welcome yourself. Everyone. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Joey. Nice to see you, Amy. Happy to see you, Vika. And today, Joey will be sharing us with his question. We are ready. All right, good. That's uh, Anatoly. We'll move on to Amy. Hi, guys. Um, nice meeting you all. Uh, thank you, Joey, for having us. And let's get started. Wonderful. And the newest member of the team. And sorry, how do you say it? Is it Vika? Yeah. Vika, how are you? Hi, fine. Happy to see you, everyone, and nice to start shooting it. Uh, my name is Vika, or Victoria. In Russian, it's better to say Vika. And I'm uh, your newcomer, new community manager. Hi. Beautiful. Okay, so you guys have agreed to let me ask you some questions. Uh, we want to state, though, that the questions that I'm going to be asking you are mainly focused around what you do in the in Quaker or Age of Magic. So that's mainly community based stuff. So I'm going to start off with a pretty simple question. We'll go with what do you like most about Age of Magic? So we'll start with Vika because you're already on the screen. So what do you like most about Age of Magic? Okay. Uh, if you say about uh, game mods, I'd like better Tomb of Horrors because I think that uh, this mod is uh, the most interesting one in the game and I like to taste all the characters uh, to understand how they work and to see them but I don't have anyone <laughs> in the game and uh, I fall in love uh, in uh, Arihami in this mod Oh, yeah, she's yeah. gorgeous. She can kill everyone, and uh, she's beautiful. So, uh, so I like this mod. Uh, but uh, Tolia, he is uh, a great uh, uh, lover of fantasy worlds, and uh, he always said us about uh, Dungeons and Dragons. And I see this vibe in Dungeons and Magic, so I like it also. Okay, so without, without giving too much away, have you personally been able to test the new Tomb of Horrors coming to the game? And you are no, I didn't. No, okay, so I, I won't push it anymore, but I was just going to see if you if you prefer the old one or the new one, but that's okay. All right, so Anatoly, what do you like most about Age of Magic? Okay. As uh, Vika already told, I'm a huge fan of different fantasy universes, and it's not a secret that my favorite part of Age of Magic is lore. I love Age of Magic lore, and now I will try to uh, say uh, why exactly. Uh, so, as you all know, uh, there are a lot of references uh, to different books, mythology, even other games in Age of Magic heroes, and I love how our exit artists made it so uh, all heroes can uh, live in the Age of Magic uh, universe and create their own story. That's it. Yeah, and um, I, I was talking to Olga the other day and she, um, oh, Oleg, sorry, oh, which one is it? I get so confused <laughs> with, you, with everyone's names and um, I asked her if, if I could have a character designed after me in the game and she said there's a possibility. So. I'm going to uh, maybe, we'll see what happens, have a some features of myself put into a character. So I might be in the Age of Magic lore. Looking this forward is, <laughs> to it. Uh, this is a <laughs> fantasy world and you can associate yourself with everyone. Oh, for example, I always associate myself with Tsuna because she's a uh, redhead and uh, she's a uh, fox. I like foxes. <laughs> and you I ears. can see that. Yeah, you got ears going right yeah, now as tell. well. Okay, <laughs> Amy. You can call ears. Amy, you're up. What do you like most about Age of Magic? My gosh, uh, my answer will be very short. I love the graphics. It's beautiful, and that's something amazing about the game. So just the graphics itself, it's it's great. Yeah, I think yeah, I, I would think agree. It's top quality. 
I think Age of Magic, one thing that never lets me down about Age of Magic is definitely the the graphic design. You de- you definitely have the most beautiful characters in any game I've played so far. Okay, great. All right, going on question number two. If you could change one thing in the game, what would it be? We'll start with Amy this time. Okay. <laughs> um, hmm. Let me see. Um, I think that I would definitely change the, um, the global chat to make it better and more comfortable for the players to communicate. And yeah, that's what I would start from the chat. Yeah, I think uh, the chat has had many issues the entire time it's been out. And exactly. One thing that definitely needs improvement because at the moment, yeah. Discord is the, the number one way to communicate. Yeah. So if you don't have Discord, you're at a disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay, Anatoly, you're up, mate. What, what would you change? I will uh, say I am looking in the same direction as Amy, but also I have something to add here. I'm playing different mobile games, and in uh, one game, I've seen such a feature like a social network uh, just right in the game. Uh, so you play the game, you have a community button, you hit it, and you see uh, the uh, kind of little Facebook in the game, like this uh, post comments, uh, reactions, so on, so people can communicate with each other. I would love to see such feature in the game to make communication even better and for all players who want to communicate, not just uh, to those who use Discord, Facebook, or anything else. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's it. I agree. And Vika, what's, what, do you, what would you change? Well, Tolia said about Facebook and the game. I, uh, it reminds me of uh, Homescapes because uh, Austin, their man- mascot, he had a Facebook <laughs> page <laughs> and it's quite funny. So uh, I think uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, so I decided my answer is uh, task system. I think that uh, the game going to be more dynamic, fast and interesting if we have uh, a lot of uh, different tasks, quests for a day, week, month, year. Uh, it's uh, just push you to go to the game and to play it again and again. Uh, to do something new, so this is my question or oh, answer. So. Yeah, no, I think that is definitely one thing the game lacks is things players can achieve throughout the week and the month. I think that is great. It also gives the chance for players to earn rewards as well, and yeah. it's always yeah. good to be earning towards a goal. And I think if it ever happens, I think that the goals should change. It shouldn't always be a constant thing that you're doing the same every time. That's yeah, where... you constantly want to achieve something new, uh, to discover something new, and to understand the game from different sides. But uh, if you need to make uh, the same task all the time, it's quite boring, I think. But uh, if it's gonna be the same task but different worlds, I think. <laughs> yeah, no, a hundred percent agree. Okay, moving on to number three, we have. How do you compare Age of Magic to other mobile games out there? And what do you think you guys do better than other mobile games? So we'll start with Anatoly this time. Wow, that's tricky. Uh, as, you, as you like so. Mm, I will say I will say it's our unique heroes. Unique heroes from the development. Like all our heroes, uh, they do have unique models, animation, textures, uh, effects, and sound. By the way, you better play the sound because there is a huge part of the work from sound designers and each hero sounds in uh, his own way. So I will say it's a unique hero for Age of Magic. Yep. Amy, what about you? What do you, what would you, ch- oh no, sorry. What's, um, what do you think Age of Magic does better than other games? Mm, I actually agree with uh, with Tola about the heroes. Mm, at the same time, mm, I think that mm, we have we have a great storyline uh, and a great universe. I've recently started playing uh, Marvel Track Force, and mm, comparing to them, I think Age of Magic has a more appealing storyline uh, to me. 
Um, I also played some Chinese games where I hit the paywall pretty fast. So <laughs> comparing to, to the Chinese games, I think Age of Magic is, is nice and you can get um, things in the game if you play for a long time. And I like it. Um, I like getting things for free. <laughs> I would say, yeah, that's that's what I like in Age of Magic. Yeah, okay, Vicky, you're up. What do you like? Oh, what do you think you do better than other games and how do you think it compares to other games out there? Uh, listening to the guys' answers, I think that the communication with the community is quite better than in other games because uh, uh, when I came here, I always heard that uh, in Raid, they didn't leave that anytime yeah, they don't have some so much compensation or something like that but uh, we are from our side we are always try to hear from our community to understand their pain uh, try to do our best to make their uh, playing experience better uh, so I think that uh, this side this side is better in our game and guys said everything else yeah that, that's fair so i um i am quite fortunate than other people i do get to talk to you guys a fair bit and i do witness that you as a team you do try your hardest to do what's best for the community a lot and i do don't get to see that within other games because i'm not in the position i am but in terms of the effort you guys put in I think it is hard to notice it sometimes because you know people do often get quite emotional about some things but I can honestly say you guys do put in a lot of effort when it comes to the community and I think people do appreciate that. Thank so, you. Thank no, you. You're, you're more than welcome. Um, we'll move on to number four. Uh, what part of your job do you find most difficult? So we'll start with you Amy. Okay. Um my job. <laughs> I love my job and that's the reason why I do it uh, because I, I love it. Um, what I do, I'm in charge of the Chinese players so like everything, mm, every problem, every like every single content post, I'm in charge of it. Um, at the same time I have some other projects, uh, for example I'm in charge of the update, release, uh, information and content content such as patch notes um, heroes descriptions and other stuff uh, and i could say that sometimes it gets pretty stressful especially uh, before right before and right after updates uh, because i have to check a lot of information and to make sure that everything uh, meets the deadline and is ready to go live so yeah um, I love my job, but sometimes it is stressful. That's that's it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Vicka? <laughs> my turn. So, as you know, but not everyone knows, uh, I I am the main person who are creating the content, content for the communities. I am making some contests, some uh, articles, uh, something of that. Uh, but as uh, Amy said, she made uh, update content and Tolia make uh, work content. <laughs> so um, the most difficult part of my work is uh, to create something new, something unique, but at the same time uh, useful and uh, understandable for people, for our players. And uh, also, this is a horrible year we have a pandemic time and for me personally is the hardest thing of my work nowadays it's a lack of communication with people and with my colleagues because uh, we are not only in the same room we are not in the same cities not in the same countries yeah and you can so, tell from the video <laughs> yeah it's quite difficult for me to handle it yeah yeah, yeah i agree Sorry. No, you're right. Anatoly, what do you uh, what do you find most difficult about the job? Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, I was doing many things for many things for uh, the community from the very beginning, and I have to say, uh, there uh, were hard, hard, very step. 
literally at every step. <laughs> but for now, I would agree with uh, Vika. Uh, the hardest part for me is to work remotely for a long time. Like I started to recognize it uh, about from six to seven months uh, working remotely. Uh, I feel like uh, it's really hard. Uh, like when you was in the office, you can just uh, came, uh, came here and talk to everyone, ask feedback or even for support in hard times from the team. Uh, but now we mostly focus on the work and we have less uh, informal communi communication and it's hard. It's hardest part as for now, I will say. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fair. All right, so, um, final question. What, if you could improve one thing within the community, what would you improve? We'll start with Amy. I want to start with Amy. I want to finish with Anatoly because you've been in the community the longest. Um, I think that Age of Magic's community is very special. I met some great people there and some of them are now my friends and we chat and we, um, we even met when I lived in China. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the people and um, what I would like to to see in, in the community to improve is that um, I, I wish we could have more offline events, uh, maybe some meetups and um, I don't know, something uh, real. And I know that we used to, uh, some of our players, some of our clan members, they used to meet, organize meetups in their countries. And I think this is amazing. And I hope that after the pandemic is over, we can do it again. And I just see each other in in real life this is th this would be great yeah uh, yeah i agree i think it would be amazing to meet some players within the game i know i've met a lot of people through making my videos and being in the community there are definitely yeah. some people i would love to meet and i think i don't see why we couldn't i think there, there could be a lot of things done on that front yeah all right vika what would you improve with the community I absolutely agree with Amy, and uh, I think I really think that uh, we have this opportunity to make our Age of Magic con because we have so much uh, heroes in the game, and uh, there is so many, so many space to do uh, cosplay, to do some makeup, or to do some uh, I don't know uh, pictures, uh, some stuff. Uh, so this is a huge opportunity to make our own conference, uh, our own stuff, uh, I mean, uh, maybe comic books or something like that. I really wish to have Age of Magic Con. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think it would be really good. I think there is there's always so much you can do with the game, especially because it is fantasy based. There's yeah. literally no limitation to what you guys can create. All right, Anatoly, what would you improve with the community? Hmm. I will agree with Amy and Vika because uh, we truly have a unique community with uh, cool people there and there are already uh, a lot of them are friends and uh, I know a lot of them uh, and uh, which is great, <laughs> I can't say. say. And uh, I would agree that uh, real life events is something uh, which uh, could increase the level, uh, greatly increase the level. And according we uh, had this 2020 pandemic uh, year, uh, I hope uh, the pandemic will be over next uh, year and we will be able to uh, think in the direction about making something to live. Yeah, I think, yeah, you, Age of Magic has always had a good community. And, you know, I have had friends in the past that you know have wanted to quit the game but they do stick around because it is a good community so it is one of the stronger points of the game and i think it is it will always be a good community okay this is so, great that we have such a strong uh, social part of our, in our game and that's why i i mean the tola suggestion about changing the chat is so important i think because uh, people want mm -hmm. to communicate and they uh, need to have such opportunity inside inside the game. Yeah, I think that it's definitely one thing that needs improvement because you can't have a game 
but rely on the main communication coming from an outside source. So I think it, it does put some people at a disadvantage, but it's something that can be worked on and I think it will eventually be fixed. But those are my five questions I had for everyone. Does anyone have anything else they'd like to add or, or say? Or maybe yeah. ask? Uh, all right, Amy, <laughs> do you have anything you wanna <laughs> you have anything you wanna say? I have something I want to say. I think uh, the, this uh, is a good time to uh, say Merry Christmas to our players. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy New Year. Yeah, that's fair enough. Happy team and Joy. Yep. Also, Joy, one another thing. С наступающим Новым Годом. Oh, I, I, what, did you just speak Russian to me? <laughs> yeah. Привет. That was, that was, uh, Привет. That was Happy New Year in Russian. <laughs> well, I can say that in Chinese as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite fluent in English, so. Uh, <laughs> of course Christmas you are. Everyone and a happy new year. And as usual, thank you so much to everyone who supports my channel. Thank you to everyone who supports the community managers <laughs> and all the best to everyone and all the best in the new year. Take care of yourselves. Thank you, Joy. Thank you. Thank you, Joy.